Hello everyone. In this short session, I'd like to talk about Jesus' statement that you will have water welling up within you. It comes from John 4, verse 14. And to put a bit of context around that, uh, Jesus has met the Samaritan woman at the well and he asks her for some water and she engages in this kind of defensive banter with Jesus because it's very unusual in those days for a man to speak to a woman and there's conjecture about what kind of a woman she was because she was at the well at the middle of the day. Um, when she engages in this banter with Jesus, he says something amazing to her. He says, if you only knew who it was that is asking you for a drink, you would have been the one to ask and he would have given you living water. And then he goes on to say, she's excited by this idea of living water. Jesus goes on to say, whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. I'd like to talk about this idea of a spring of water welling up within us. And I'd like to talk about it in the context of your prayer life and my prayer life. Um, when I was preparing for this, I came across a drawing that I had done quite some time ago when I was on retreat. Prayer can be like this image. At first, when we begin to pray, to pray really what we see is ourselves, a lot of ourselves. And we talked about that a bit the other day when, um, when we talked about our false images of God. What we're coming up against when we pray is that outer shell of ourselves. The me, 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 all around the edges of this drawing. As we go deeper in prayer and we allow ourselves to become um, more open to God's work in us, what we can see uh, is a lot of things that we've been trying to hide from ourselves. So these are things that we keep busy to avoid. And in our current society, that's really easy to do. Busy, 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 I don't need to think about these deep things within me. Um, we begin to see our own anxieties. We begin to see our own vulnerability. We might begin to see some of the fears that operate in us. And we might begin to see even anger rising up in us that's come from early resentments. Maybe anger at God, maybe anger at others. But whatever we see, it can be unpleasant and it can make us feel unsettled because we thought this prayer journey was going to be all beautiful and, you know, lots of um, lovely streams of water and we lie in the paddocks next door and we enjoy God's presence. This, this experience of prayer, of seeing ourselves as we truly are, doesn't fit with what we think prayer should be. But it's part of this incredible journey to the centre. Um, many of the saints talk about the hidden room within, um, going to my secret place. Um, I was just listening to a talk by Bishop Homing who talked about prayer as a place where he it stands in the presence of God. Lots of people talk about finding this inner core where everything else falls away and there is only God. And if you have a look at the drawing, um, right in the middle, there's a stream of living water. If I commit myself to prayer and if I plunge through those difficult times, in the middle, I find the silent center. And in the silent center, is the water of life. 
welling up within me, welling up within you, to feed us, to nurture us, to help us to grow. At the moment, we're in circumstances where people are really anxious and to me, this spiritual water that wells up within us is almost like Jesus saying, here is a supply for you that will never run out. All you have to do is find it in your silent center. So better than stocking up on toilet paper, better than stocking up on pasta, use your prayer to find that still silent center, to find the water of life that will well up, that will enrich you, enliven you, that will make your tree flourish. God bless.